I request, I request our executive committee members, I request Meera Bhatia Madam to kindly come forward and present a bouquet of flowers to our chief guest, Honorable Chief Justice of India, Justice Loda. Yes, Supreme Court has recorded over here, Army case was recorded. Hey, Lala. Recorded over here, right? I request our Joint Secretary, Dr. Sandeep Singh, to please present a bouquet of flowers to Honorable the Law Minister and welcome him, please. I request Shamshra Vishrain, Executive Committee Member, to please come and present a bouquet of flowers to Honorable, uh, to learn at Attorney General for India, please. I now invite our Vice President, Sir, Mr. Shekhar, to please welcome our guests. Respected Honorable the Chief Justice Saram Lodha, the judges of the Honorable Supreme Court of India, the Honorable Law Minister Ravi Shankar Prasadji, Mr. Mukul Rautagi, the Attorney General of India, Mr. Ranjit Kumar, the Solicitor General of India, the other law officers, Mr. P. H. Parikh, our President, and his entire team, Mr. Shivaji Jadav. President, Advocate on Record Association and his entire team, eminent senior advocate, Mr. Surabji and Mr. P.P. Rao, Mr. B. Datta, the Secretary General and his team, the team from the print and the electronic media, I, on behalf of the Supreme Court Bar Association, welcome you all on this great occasion when the whole nation is celebrating the 68th Independence Day. Celebrating and greeting you, interact with people by our elected representative. Unfortunately, it doesn't happen. Number of legislation which have been enacted remains as a piece of paper, but does not truly reflect the aspiration of the people or need of the society. We want the law minister to consider this and before coming out with any legislation, take the input or interact with the stakeholders. Now, the real issue concerning us, that is the legal fraternity. There are so many legislation concerning us, our institution. We, the stakeholders, are never called upon, nor any input is taken. And even if in some stray cases it is taken, it is not reflected in the legislation. Our fraternity has contributed a lot in the past and we wish to contribute more in the future. In the last two weeks, there has been a hue and cry on two legislation. One is the new Supreme Court rules, the other is Judicial Appointment Bill. I am sorry to say that our fraternity, who are the major stakeholders, were never called upon to give input or give valuable suggestion. The way both piece of legislation was being rushed through is a matter of grave concern. It's a different thing that both the piece of legislation will have to meet the challenge in a court of law, but I feel it would have been better if the bar was consulted when it was in a draft stage. I do not know why there was a great hurry. Heaven would not have fallen if the bar was consulted on both this legislation. I think still we can make amend it's my request about the Chief Justice and the Law Minister to consider our request and respond and share their viewpoints when they address us. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for the welcome address along with the highlight, the red flagging the issues also. I now request our learned Attorney General for India, Mr. Rodgi, sir, to kindly come and give his address. The Law Minister, members of the Dias, Judges of the Supreme Court, retired judges, eminent lawyers, dignitaries, and friends. I think we've already heard the speech of the year. 
So I don't know what's the great point of speaking here. That's number one. Secondly, you know, some of the others, we forget the importance of days like Independence Day or for that matter, Republic Day. Standing here and thinking of what it would have been in 1947 makes you feel humbled, small and puny if you consider people like the father of the nation, one man who led an army without anything, without resources, without guns, the whole country behind him to topple the mighty empire, assisted by people like Sardar Patel, Nehru, Azad, and so many others. So it just kind of makes you feel that, you know, we are today in a, in a very small, uh, isolated world, going about our way, going about our things and thinking that we are very important and very officious. But if you see from a larger uh, perspective, you really realize how small we are and what great was the contribution of millions of people led by what? Two dozen, three dozen, five dozen people who led an undivided India where you wouldn't have got freedom without arms, God knows, for the next 50 years. So it's in that context that we should think. And I don't think today is a day to squabble over some legislation being passed or not passed. We should today think what independence means to us, what we can achieve or learn or strive from this independence. And I personally think that we in the legal profession, it is always has been a noble profession. The legal profession of the last 30-40 years has been caught up in materialism. And I would be candid enough to say that I have, I have also been a part of it. Independence for the profession, according to me, should be to rise and break the shackles of this materialism, rise to the noble profession, the standards which were thought of by people like Bulabai Desai, followed by...